Right, folks, I'm here today at the Nitro Trade Show. I'm joined by Pascal, who's, I'm going to say you've built this brand single-handedly up to now, mate, haven't you? <laughs> well, we have a bit, but, you know, we've got a team of people, but, yeah, yeah. And, uh, listen, you've just shown me some products. I've been a little bit blown away by them. So what I'd like you to do now, if it's all right, is just run me through 10 of the things that we've seen that I'd say, you know, I've listed as having most impressed me. Starting with this seat box over here, because this... Tell me a bit about this. It's a very, very reasonable price point, isn't it? It is absolutely. Uh, it's retailing at three forty-nine. Let me just show you what that box does. So, got a very nice box here. Good seat. Reverse clips because you cannot fall up the stairs. You can only fall down the stairs. It's got six telescopic legs. Two of them with a threaded end cap. It comes with a uh, sliding uh, foot tray and it comes with two little side trays. There's lots of space also back there and also back there. Something to carry it over your shoulder with. So yeah, no, we're very happy with these. Now, if you showed me that product and said how much, I would have said 499. 349 mate so 150 quid cheaper than i would have thought absolutely foot plate as you said four telescopic legs and tell me a bit about these accessories because you do a, 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 a range of seat box accessories as well yeah we do we're just starting with it now so we've got a little side tray at 24.99 and we've got a little feeder arm over there for 29.99 so again that's very very reasonable yeah absolutely now as you know i'm a tight yorkshireman so i don't like spending money and uh, one thing that also caught my eye was this keep net pack. Now, there's three of these available for 99.99. That's, um, you know, there are other nets at that price point. But what I liked about these, just show us how they're made and just show us the quality of the rings, because they're all actually metal rings, aren't they? They are. So you've got a big aluminium top ring. You've got a block over here. You've got all the rings in metal. The last three rings are covered with a mash fabric. Uh, you know, for extra protection. And inside, you've got the little handles for tipping out your net. Brilliant. So a pull handle so you can pull them through. And they're all this space saver design, which all is space popular. space saver design and all the way through. So not, you know, like underneath, they're like this, but they're all the way space saver design. Brilliant. I like this mesh, me. This is what impresses me. This looks like something is going to stand up to a bit of hammer, to be fair. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. So three of those, 99 99 Yeah, that's it. Lovely, right. Well, I think the rod alley up there has finally come free. So, oh, come on then. There was a cheeky little, uh, cheeky little nine foot, or was it an eight foot rod I saw on it? Started an eight foot, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We've got this new range which is called the Impacts All Rounder. Right. Which we've got an eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen foot. So, whether you are chucking out little bomb or whether you go out to the river, um, you know, the rock there is for you, for you available, and it's at 39.99. So I don't know whether you can see there, but those graphics are absolutely lovely. That black, white, and red, all working together so nicely. A lovely handle with nitro in it as well. Cork, proper real seat. I'm not being funny, Pascal, but if you'd have told me that rod was 100 quid, I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, it's true. And if you look at the uh, the guides, we've been using minimum guides on there. Yeah. I don't know if you can focus on those. Yeah, we can. Because they're really nice. And the other thing is that for all the tips, we've used slightly bigger guides so that, you know, even in wintry conditions, they will not clog up with ice quickly. Let's have a look at those then. Let's get in on those. Yeah, you can sort of see there that's nice big guides on those. Let's get right in. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's better. That's the macro lens there. You can see that proper good size guide. Really, really nice. Brilliant. All right. So as I said, you've got them available in eight to 13 foot. So, you know, for anybody wanting to be out for silvers or for the river, you know, the rot is there starting at 39.95. It's, it's a very, very reasonable price point. You said something earlier that, um, stuck with me we were talking about people's perceptions when it comes to price yeah now we're both been in this industry a while we both know our way around and 
there isn't always a correlation, is there, between what people pay for a rod and the quality of it. That's true, that's true. And we do hear a lot like, you know, oh, that can't be right because it's, you know, it's cheap. But that's not true. You know, you can make very nice rods these days at very affordable prices. Yeah, I would um, seriously urge anybody in the market for a feed rod, especially for commercial fishing, for short range commercial fishing, to look at those impact rods before spending any more than about 30 or 40 quid because um, they are really, really good. Obviously, there are more expensive yep. uh, rods got in a, the range. Got a very nice one to have a look at for the river. Um, Tommy was actually really taken by this one. Uh, he's off to Spain, as you know, uh, and he was really taken by this one. It's the Horizon power feeder that we've got here. Let's have a look. Lovely graphics again. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So a very stealthy handle. It comes with uh, minima guides in a gun smoke finish. Yeah. Look great. There you do. They come with two tips and they're really very powerful with a tippy action. We've got them in 12 foot and in 13 foot and especially this 12 foot and 80 grams and the 13 foot in one of the 20 grams we think are ideal for the UK market for, you know, your big reservoirs like here at, at Barston and also for the river, River Seven, uh, fishing for barbel and chub. These rods are just absolutely brilliant. Interesting, you said on these, a lot of them have been sort of designed with the uh, European market yeah. in mind, Far East, not Far East, but Eastern Europe in particular. Yeah. Um, just show me, there was, there was a, a longer one that was a real powerhouse. Just show me that one, was that? That was the powerhouse at a, at a lighter, of a, at, a, at a small, lower price point. Yeah. Which is that one over there, which is the Impax. Oh, it's called the Impax. Continental then. Power Feeder. Impax Continental Power Feeder. This is a beast of a rod. It, it made me think of the Tidal Trent, this one. It I'm going to try and show you it from this angle. If you hold that... Oh, here we go. Pascal's going to... Uh... So I don't think you can see that against the ceiling. You probably can just about. But that, you've got a lovely tippy action, which I always look for in a river rod. But it's a really, really nice piece of kit. It's quite light as well, given its its length and its power. Absolutely. And then if you if I tell you that that is retailing around 50, 60 quid. Yeah. You know, yeah. So every anybody wanting to try to fish the river every once in a while, you know, that's the rod to go for. You've got to, seriously guys, you've got to look at these before spending any more because... Uh, I think I'd be very inclined to uh, have one of these rather than splash it out anymore on something that doesn't offer an awful lot more in terms of quality, to be honest. They're, they're, they're superb. Superb. Great. Thank you. So that's them. Now, we were talking earlier about um, storage options, and I, I was telling you I spend an awful lot of money on Tupperware to store yeah. bits of tackle in. Yeah. You've got a new range of... Um, Tackle box, boxes. tackle box spacer that fit inside your your uh, carry rolls as well. You want to just show Absolutely. me some of those? Well, come over. So we've got a set of about six boxes here. So the first one is the deluxe feeder box, yeah, which comes with two locks on and all the dividers a little bit rounded on the bottom so that even if you've got your small swivels and everything it's yep. very easy to pick them up they stay within their own place and especially when you've got big fingers like me you can easily take them from the bottom got you. because they're all level and they're level with the top yeah when you close this up and even if that would be upside down in your in your tackle box all those swivels will be staying within their own place so that's a really important design because that, that can be a problem can't it that mm. can be a problem so i've had that myself <laughs> <laughs> so that's 29.95 and then we've got a double box and double box in the sense of it offers two locks and it's not double like the top and then the bottom yeah it actually has you open the locks and you've got one level there yeah and then you've got one level there Okay, look at that. I mean, you could even put. I think. I think you were saying actually, European anglers often put wafters and things. Oh, in they there, do. Or, they do. Yeah. They, yeah. they put. They put wafters and and, and boilers in, in the top part, and then they put their uh, their method gear in the bottom. Yeah. And then, you know, they're off. Just one box. And how much are they? Uh, these are sixteen ninety five. Sixteen ninety five. Sixteen ninety five. Yeah. Now, anybody who wants to do their own work on that, have a look what else you can get for 16.95 like that because i can assure you as a bit of a tupperware uh, tupperware freak on the quiet you can't get anything like that for 16.95 <laughs>
So then we've got another three boxes. We've got a smaller one shallow, we've got a larger one shallow, and we've got a larger one deep. Right. They all come with four locks on them for extra security, and they all come with a waterproof seal. Okay. The deeper one, the nice one about that is that you can actually put your spool of nylon, like, you know, your shock leader, you can actually put it in there rather than having it unwinding somewhere in your bag, yeah. not knowing where it is. So they lock up perfectly and they retail at eleven ninety five. Uh, sorry, eight ninety five, eleven ninety five, and twelve ninety five. Brilliant. Brilliant. Last this one. My eye. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we couldn't miss that. Exactly. <laughs> Last one. Um, and Tommy actually again this is one of those products that he he came last week to the trade show and he said i will not leave here without that in my in my hands so it retails at 14.95 and what you get you get this box and you get 24 eva spools that are already marked diameter length size and model so you can market yourself and they come with 24 pins as well as i said 14.95 perfect for any feeder angler brilliant So that's a lovely range of boxes. Now, the, it's actually something you buy the, um, the um, luggage at the moment. We'll pop back to that, Pascal. Yep, we will. But before we do, I just want to look at two other little things. Now, yep. funny enough, these are one of the first things I headed for when I came here today, just because I thought they looked so different. And it's this concept of, of are they rubber, is that correct, or are they plastic? Yeah, it is, it's a, it's a kind of rubber, yeah. It's a kind of rubber. Yeah. Um, Clip-ons, yep. not just for bait boxes, but for accessories, side trays as well. Just talk us through them. Yeah, so we've got these clip-ons. The first one is uh, like a bait tray. So, you know, the anglers like to have their, their rigs ready. Uh, you don't want to have them messing around on your, um, uh, on your side tray. You don't want to have them falling off, blowing off. Um, so these ones, as you can see, they don't roll off, they don't blow away. They will clip on, um, on your, your bait tub or they will clip on an EVA tub so that they're close to there where all the action is. Yeah. So that is one. We've also got the, we've also got this one here, which will hold um, any of the most popular uh, uh, tubs for your for your pop-ups, for your uh, for your dips, um, uh, for for extra dips, small dips like garlic and uh, and liver dips. Yeah. Keeping it close to your bait. And another really nice one is this one here, so this, that you know when you're having your your worms chopped, where would you leave your scissors? Normally, you leave them somewhere in your ground bait. You leave them somewhere on your side tray. Gets tangled up with your catapult. With this one, you just keep it in there, nice and tidy, and you always know where that is. Another one that I want to show you is this one over here. That clip-on, I'm sure, is going to be very popular. This will be a top, top seller across, I'm going to say, all fishing tackle for 2024, because the versatility, what it allows you to do, is, is superb, isn't it? It is. It is, so, absolutely. Obviously, we're not going to uh, name names, but this will fit on a lot of other side trays, as well as the nitro ones, won't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it will fit on, the, uh, on anything that has a 19 millimeter upright of a side tray, um, which, is, which is great. So when you, when you put your clip on over there, and you put your landing net handle with your net on in there, that is not going to blow away in any wind or in, in any way or form. But the other thing is, when you're fishing the river, for instance, you just clip that on the side, and we've all had it that, you know, you're putting your landing net out there, a boat comes by, and before you know it, you need to reach out very quickly because that net is going to go yeah, away. Yeah, we've all had it. So with that, if you clip it in there, that is not going anywhere. Brilliant. And that's a proper, you can see that, folks, that, that is locked in there. Absolutely. And then also, you know, you can just take a few next to each other, and you could actually use that to clip in uh, your rod handle or to clip in, for instance, a top kit for a pole. Brilliant. Brilliant. A really, really unique, clever little product that I think you're going to sell loads of them. Right, so moving on from that, Pascal, yep. we're um, going to have a quick look at a new net handle, which is a, a very, very reasonable price point. Oh, absolutely. I've got one here, which is the NTR, uh, the NTR net handle, commercial net handle, which is a three meter handle comes in two pieces as you can see yeah it's got a metal screw head and of course it is riveted yeah, yeah. lovely um it's nice and light but it is also nice and strong now when i saw this i mean as you know i'm i'm a very regular match angler i fish matches twice a week 
I just thought every decent match angler wants a spare net angle in the bag in case of disaster. Now that's as long as the net angle I normally use. You know, it's it's, it's three meters, is it that one? Or 2.8? Yeah, three meters. Three meters. Yeah. So for under 30 quid, you can have a reserve handle in your bag that won't let you down. But for the occasional angler, that's that's, that's perfect that's anyway, brilliant. isn't it? Absolutely yeah. brilliant, yeah. But I like the idea of what you say. As a spare handle, that is just ideal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's not going to let you down, is it? And that's no, the big thing. It's not. It's not. Absolutely. Brilliant. Shall we have a look at these new feeders as well? Because you're quite proud of the design <laughs> on these, aren't you? I love the new feeders, I can tell you that. Um, and, and what I really like about them is that, you know, we wanted to design something which was a little bit different to what is out there in the market. So these feeders, however you put them, are always going to be landing the way that you want them to land. So as an angler, you never have to think, ooh, did that land all right? Is yeah. that going to unload all right? So that is what we did. The other thing we did, we actually use, well, we don't use lead, by the way. That's a very important point okay. as well. We're not using lead, which it might not be as important yet in the UK, but in Europe, it definitely is. So we are prepared for the future. And we do tend to find, unfortunately, that things follow. So I would imagine this legislation might be on its way. <laughs> it's one of those things. So, you know, the, the weight is actually hugging the, um, uh, the basket. It's nice and smooth on the inside. Um, they're weight forward. And you can see already by the way that is hanging over here. Yeah, let's just come around and focus yeah. on that this way. Oh yeah, I see. So yeah. it's almost like slightly at an angle. Yeah, it's kicking slightly outwards. at an angle. And that means that, you know, it wants to tip over. So with the smallest of movement, that yeah. one wants to come up. Got so you. you can imagine if you are fishing on two different lengths, yeah. short and long, the long line is not going to interfere with the short line. Okay. And the other thing is, if you are in a snaggy area, yeah. you know, the, the feeder comes up so quick yeah. that you have less chances in getting getting snagged up. So, um, yeah, no, we're really happy with these, and they retail at two twenty, two pound twenty, two pound twenty. Yeah, we've got some speed cages as well. In the meantime, we've got three different sizes of those, and one of the key features of that is that you can actually put your fingers there and fill it up, fill it up really easily and quickly. Yeah. But also because of the space that is left outside of the outer side of the cage, yeah. is that there's there's lots of space for the for the bait to come out Got to you. release exactly there, where um, you know where, where that feed where that feeder is. Got you. Um, so these are the three that we've got, three different sizes uh, in five different weights, and they will be retailing at two pound thirty. So again, very, very reasonable price and a Absolutely. really unique design. I love the thought that's gone into how the feeder empties because that's often overlooked, I think, Pascal, to be mm. honest. It is, and also because of the slanted sides, um, the moment that you start retrieving that, the water will flow through quicker yeah. so we can very easily bring it back in. Got you. Awesome. Right, so that's the feeders covered. Moving round to the luggage area, which we can now actually get on. I can see some boxes poking <laughs> out of that bag, Pascal. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, so because we were doing a lot of boxes this year, uh, we said, okay, so we need to have a bag where we can actually store those boxes in. Um, and obviously, starting with the biggest one we've got, that deluxe feeder box. Yeah. So whether you store them like this or whether you store them straight up, that is how they fit. They will fit four or five. Um, fit it like this. Yeah. But they will, they will all fit in, actually. You know, we've made them in such a way that it's very modular. Put that one on the side, put that one on top of it, and then we've got the smaller sides as well, so that you can put the smaller boxes there. Okay. And that's a, a good size bag as well, that one. You've got a smaller one. Just give me some idea on price on these. So these are going to be around 50, 50 to 60 pounds. This one is around 40, 45 pounds. The nice one about this bag is that it's got all the features of other of the other Sublime bags. So the, the, the strong padded shoulder yeah. straps and things like that. But that will exactly fit two of these two plus one trays, for instance. And there's actually bait boxes inside there. Or yep. I, sh I shouldn't call them bait boxes because you can store anything in there. But there's actually tubs inside there, isn't there? There's actually tubs in there. So, you know, originally when I was talking to, to Tommy about this bag, uh, what he was looking for was a bag that would hold eight of these with a zip top so that he can bring eight different types of feeders to the bank in just one little bag. Yeah. So, um, so that's exactly what it's designed for. Superb, superb. And obviously there's much more to look at in terms of luggage from Nitro, including 
And I know these weren't on, I made a little list folks, and these weren't on it, but I've got to show them because we're here, because they're so nice. Including these EVA sort of white clean uh, modular bags, which are all the rage now, aren't they? Yeah, so we've got these ones here, uh, and they will hold, um, for instance, a combination of like the three plus one and the four plus one tray. Yeah. And also the long trays, got or any variety of. And they're just in there, ready to go. Nice secure zip mechanism. Yep. What's not to like about that? How much are they? Um, these are also around 40, 40, 50 pounds. Okay, so again, a, a, a good price point. Yep. The one thing though, and again, this uh, this is a tight Yorkshireman in me that, uh, that saw this one, but the one thing that I really, really like from all the luggage we've seen is, I think it's the first one I've, I've seen, a single net bag. It's not a bulky sort of framed EVA one. It's actually, um, just a nice material. It's obviously a stink bag to stop your net from leaking. But when you go on the river, this is all you need, isn't it? That's just perfect because, you know, I mean, originally that was designed to keep your wet and your dry nets separate. Yeah. Because we've got these, these big net bags. Um, you know, people are carrying a lot of nets with them. So yeah. they'd like to keep them separate. But indeed, as you say, a guy going to the river, just needing one net in there, um, and a landing net, that's just perfect. I've been using this for the last eight months and it's just its just absolutely wonderful. You know, it's completely waterproof. You leave that in your car without having any, any leaking damage. Absolutely awesome. Right, so I think there's one more thing to look at, which I'm gonna say, real. for the feeder anglers out there, I've <laughs> saved the best till last, I think, because these are uh, cracking. and. You, did you say it? these are a little bit of a surprise to you in terms of how popular they've proved over here? Well, yeah, because, you know, we've got these Stark X Carbon series reels, which, you know, they were actually designed for, um, let's say, let's say European market. You yeah. Know, uh, not going into Pacifics, but the European market, because there's a lot of long distance casting. Yeah. Um, casting a method feeder 120, 140 meters is not an exception. So that is what these reels were made for. But, you know, when we started to show them on the trade shows here in the UK, we had a lot of very excited retailers coming up to us saying, you know, we love these, we understand that. Uh, we like it for the river, we like it for long distance casting. Um, you know, uh, people love it. And if you consider that these start at about 59.99, um, we think a lot, of, a lot of anglers here in the UK We'll, uh, we'll go for them. 59.99. Now, if you just said to me they were 159.99, <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lovely looking product. Carbon body on there, isn't Yeah, they? it's got a carbon body, uh, which gives you the strength of aluminium and it gives you the lightness of, let's say, plastic. Uh, there's a worm shaft system. There's a very slow oscillation in there, uh, which is nice. It's got two aluminium line clips. Yeah. Um, a good drag system. Um, it's got a line guard. Uh, to prevent the line from going underneath the spool yeah and they're available in three different sizes so there's a 4500 and a 5500 and a 6500 superb well that is 10 products looked at and uh, genuinely really really impressed with this range pascal you've done a fantastic job Thank um you Obviously, working with Tommy Pickering can't be easy, but somehow you've managed to pull through. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um, it's brilliant. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot more of this stuff on the bank in the near future.